Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2 here today on the channel. We're going to be kicking off with another Game of Thrones modded series. We're going to do a custom game here today. We're going to be starting a little bit earlier from the Dance of the Dragons, where House of the Dragon is set. We're going to be playing as the Rogue Prince. We're going to be playing as Daemon Targaryen himself. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. So, I've mentioned this before, but throughout the month of November, we're going to be going back to video form rather than live streams, as I'm currently away. And then we'll look to bring back the YouTube live streams towards the end of November, potentially start of December. We are running a bunch of sub mods as well, not only the Game of Thrones mods, so if you do want access to that, you can become a YouTube channel member to get access to all the mod lists on the channel. So, here we go. Can we get that little bit of text? Here we go. The Rogue Prince. In the early part of Viserys as the first reign, his chief annoyance was his brother, Prince Daemon. Daemon Targaryen. I probably said Daemon instead of Daemon. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you know what we're talking about. Hell, at the end of the day, doesn't George say Dothraki? I don't know how the hell that makes sense. But Daemon was a mercurial and quick to take offense. He was daring, dashing, and dangerous. He was the one of the brothers of the brushes supported in the Greens Council. Uh, some say motivate his beliefs that he would be heir. So I think that's what we want to do in this series. What did you guys think of him like choking Rhaenyra in uh, the last episode? It was kind of weird, but I don't know. I think this, uh, Damon is actually quite <laughs> violent. <laughs> and um, vindictive as well. Like, he's a cruel fella. Like, I, I like him a lot. He's a great, great complex character, but I don't know. I don't know if you should really look up to Doctor Who. <laughs> I think that sort of blinds him a bit. Uh, that's what some people... I think that sort of blinds people's thought of him because he's the hot Doctor Who. I think that's quite funny. However, Rhaenyra was named heir instead, and now Viserys has remarried to Alicent Hightower. Seemingly grown tired, waiting for the crown. Damon is now determined to carve out his own kingdom. So hopefully he can be crowned king of the Narrow Sea. They cr they crowned me king. Who did exactly? Call us in the voice. I don't think that's something he would do. But I did like quite like that scene when he gave his crown to uh, Viserys in Hot D. In this, he and Chorus Valarin have made common cause. So we have to deal with the three sisters. That's what we're going to be doing in this series. And then we're going to make a decision. We're going to have to get rid of... Um, Rhea Royce, the bronze bitch, at some point. Um, so we're going to have to deal with her. And I think we want to try and marry Rhaenyra sooner rather than later. We might even try and get some other dragon seats um, into our court, if that's something we could do. It might not be a bad idea to get Hugh Hammer and the boys in. Because I think we might actually betray Viserys and try and seat Damon on the Iron Throne. What do you guys reckon in the chat and comments? So we have to deal with Lys, Mir, and Tyrosh. And technically the Martells, because they actually have joined with them. Alright, Prince Damon, a rogue if there was ever one. So yeah, it looks like Prince Corrin of Dawn is going to go against us. And my dear brother, I applaud your campaign against the three daughters. I bid you success in aid. I'm sending funds from the treasury. Which, uh, yeah, even that, like he was pissed off that Viserys wanted to help him and sort of beat the crap out of that poor messenger. I'm just the messenger. Okay, well, let's have a look at what we're working with. So we've got 9,000. Now, we should have a couple dragons with us. So we've got, obviously, Damon here. Um, I think having a son is the play. I think we want to plot to kill Rhea Royce, who seemed like, even though we only saw her in the show for a little bit, um, she was a really cool character. Like, that actress was great, like, from the get-go. Um, she really, really gave us a little bit to care about before Damon killed her. What do you think about that? I think it was deliberately ambiguous. Like, I thought he was going to... I think if he brought his dragon, it would have been a little bit more obvious. I think we go with seduction to get the fertility here, because I want to try and get Damon some children. But, yeah, he kind of grabbed the reins. It was kind of a... I don't know. I just... <laughs> I think he went there to kill her, and then it just was sort of a happy accident in the end. I think we send for a faceless man to get rid of her. It will cost a bit, but Viserys is probably going to pay for it anyway. Because at this time... So we are currently third in line. Sorry, second in line. 
Rhaenys is now third. Viserys hasn't had any children with Alicent, so we kind of want to avoid the Dance of the Dragons. It's interesting that there's like a couple points where like Damon in the books and in the show were kind of, he, he kind of like, you could see like the thought of him like, do I kill Rhaenyra? Do I sort of kill Viserys and take this for myself? But I feel like he does like love his brother and his uh, niece in his own way. Okay, so we have to get rid of her, so... Yeah, I think we send for a faceless man to get rid of her. And I think we try and marry Rhaenyra as quickly as possible. She's only nine at this point. She has a dragon rider, of course. So let's have a look what we've got here. We haven't got a better Castellan. Uh, we're just sort of dealing with... So what do I actually hold as my own? Damon's host. So, we don't actually hold Dragonstone. Oh, Rainier is actually at Dragonstone. Interesting. We might even be able to combine our claims. Interesting. Uh, Justicer, that's fine. Master of Arms. We have Vaiman Valarian, who, funnily enough, in the show was cut in half through the skull. <laughs> um, some people weren't a fan of the. Uh, the the killing of him, and maybe even sort of the, the blade action as well. I thought it was kind of cool. Like, Valyrian uh, steel is unbelievably sharp. So I think it was kind of realistic. There's not a Septon we can bring in, but I'm pretty sure he's not much of a fan of the faith. Uh, who should we make as my... Hmm. Designated regent. I kind of don't want to do it to Vaiman Valarian. I guess we'll just give it to Rhaegel. Uh, what else we got here? Let's quickly give out some of these bodyguard commands as well. And you never know. Some of the dragon seeds might be of age now. Hell, what are the... Um, like, I don't think they actually sort of say definitively, like, who's Hugh Hammer's father. Like, some of them are from, like, the reign of... Um, Jaehaerys. Like, some of the bastard children are from back then. I think one of them says... He's a descendant of, like, Maegor the Cruel, <laughs> or something. Some of them might not have specifically Targaryen blood, but some of them might just have, um, essentially, just Targ blood overall. Sorry, the point I tried to make was, um, some of them might just have Valyrian blood rather than Targ blood. Alright, so I think we're ready to go, basically. Um... Also, I did find it interesting in the show how adamant he was to be like, they murdered my brother. <laughs> like, straight up. Alright, so I'm the blood of old Valyria. Dear brother, um, I would like to give you a seat on my council. I think we decline that because we need to be actively fighting. Or oh, we might be able to get the Valarians to come and help us. That would be huge. So... His Grace Viserys, or the House of Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the Roynar, and the First Men. So we can curse his name, or we can say, long live the king. If I curse his name, this could go down. I do want to try and get rid of Rhea Royce as quickly as possible. The last thing we want is for him to have a child with Daemon. Her to have a child with Daemon. So I guess we just go long live the king for now. Now, is Hugh Hammer alive? I think that's I think that's him here. Oh, Hugh Hammer's already here. Oh, nice. I'm assuming this is Hugh Hammer. Who else would it be? So he's actually already raised as nobility. Uh, making Hugh Hammer no because he's an arms. Hmm. Okay, I think we just keep an eye on him. There's also some other ones as well. Uh, what is the other dragon seed? Wolf White, isn't his name? Is it Ulf or is it Wolf? I can't even fucking remember. Is it Wolf? Maybe it's you, Ulf. Oh, so a lot of these dragon seeds are actually a part of my host anyway. Uh, at the moment... So, Vega... Cyrax, Melis. So Sea Smoke is currently untrained. Dude, there's so many dragons as well. Sunfire, Dreamfire, Sheep Stealer, the Cannibal. Alright, cool. Well, we need to go down and deal with the three sisters. Oh my god. And Dawn as well. Crazy. So I suppose we land here at Tyrosh. That's the play. 
We should be okay. Um, I don't think there's that much of a chance that we could lose. Um, we'll have to see. Oh, okay. Wait, Viserys now rides Sunfire. Really? That's really interesting. Okay. Sunfire, the most beautiful dragon that ever existed. <laughs> Is uh, Aegon the Seconds. Okay, we just landed here. We need to deploy our dragon in battle. And we've managed to kill one of Crabass's uh, men. And no, I don't want to be a commander. So we've only got Damon riding uh, Caraxes. We could probably do with a priest as well. We can deploy you in the siege. Dr Dracarys. Oh no, Caraxes the Blood of Worms wounded. Oh shit. Who's actually on the King's Guard? Sir Kristen Cole at the moment. Crab, Darklin, Cargill, Eric, and Arik. I don't even know which one went where. I think. Oh, that's it. There's a good way to remember. I think Arik goes with Aegon and Eric goes with um, Rhaenyra, technically. And we've also got a couple of others as well. Okay, still trying to plot to kill her. I do think, like, even the runes here look quite cool. I really, really like the armor in uh, House of the Dragon for House Royce. It kind of sucked in the main Game of Thrones sh show. Um, because the Royce that helped out Sansa in the Vale just looked like a fat man in armor. <laughs> right, here we go. A mystery hooded man approaches you. This one can grant you the, death of, the uh, d gift of death for the right price. <gasps> here we go. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if, like, Rhea Royce was killed by a, uh, a faceless man. I shall pay with my blood. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's gone the other way. Oh, shit, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Lord Damon of Damon's host dies. <gasps> oh, fuck. Wait, a history hooded man. Wait, did I? What? No, I'm plotting to kill her. Oh, have I fucked up here? A mystery hooded man approaches you. This one can grant the death of Geth. After standing in the shadows, a a while a hooded man steps into the light. The price must be paid with your blood. Guards, get away from me. What? Wait, Damon dies? That was the option, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, it said Damon dies. <laughs> what? I think we might have fucked up there somewhere. I might have bugged. Hmm. This is going to be tough if we don't have a faceless man to do it. Oh, okay. The Prince of Dawn is here. Interesting. Something about the Sword of the Morning. I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. Alright. We're still trying to invite backers. Lothar of Krakow wants to depose Otto as Hand of the King. So far, we're built. We're um, getting a lot, uh, rid of a lot of the Triarchy's men. Still besieging out Tyrosh itself. They are currently sixty-four percent to capitulation. Yeah, I need to get rid of my wife. Do I need to send a gift to some of these people? It might make them more inclined to uh, join the plot, potentially. I don't know exactly. Alright. We're not even technically in the stepstone. I guess, like, the stepstones are more down here. That's what I tend to think. 
Uh, my lord, we have taken the Tairoshi Harbour. Nice. So far, the Bloodworm is going to town. The problem is if Rhaenyra gets married off, we're going to have an issue. Because we've probably waited too long. I thought she should have... Yeah, Rhaenyra still isn't married. Alright. So, they are so close to capitulating. Only two more percent. Nice. 100% now. We've won our battle down in the Stepstones. And now... King Damon of the Stepstones is now here. Hilarious. We've got our own piece of territory here now. And we have our own crown. Nice. Damon has been crowned King on the of the Narrow Sea. And we've even got a bunch of Tairoshi uh, merchants at our disposal. Yeah, because now he's technically got a crown. <laughs> Still got Dark Sister and Caraxes whip. Alright, Bloodline of Aegon here. Nice. Well, now that the war is over, we can probably disband some of this. I think most of them are mercenaries. Okay. It's so interesting that, like, the Dornish backed um, the Stepstones. Okay, organize a coronation ceremony. We can buy Unsullied now. Oh, there's heaps of stuff we can do down here. They, I think they're probably going to sort of neglect Dawn in the show, probably. I guess we just ransom the rest of these prisoners. Maybe for the money. But we still need to get rid of Rhea Royce, and I don't know how exactly we do that. We can't invite her to court or anything. Hmm. If we do imprison her, what happens? We can't even do that. Request divorce? Oh, that's it. We can negotiate with the High Septon. Hang on. Will that work? Bear with me. I think we fucked up. The f I think I... F I don't know why. I it said Damon dies, didn't he? I think the Faceless Man betrayed us. I could just yes man it, just for the sake of it, because we need to get... Like, she should be dead by this point. Hmm. Do I kill her, or do I let her... Or just get the divorce going? So, hang on. There might be a way to do this. So why won't the High Septon accept? He just straight up won't. I could just yes man it, so maybe we just do that. And... Then he's full on being divorced. And we'll do that just for the one, just for the roleplay. Because the problem is, this campaign's gonna get chalked if we don't marry Rhaenyra quickly. Because to be fair, I don't think he's got a good enough spy master to get rid of her. Oh, now, oh, because Yes Man did it. Okay, so we can stop that plot now. I suppose we. Should we try and marry her now? So he's gonna accept. Rhaenyra can marry Damon a lot earlier. I think we'll do that. Nice, so that's been accepted. As the months go by, Craxy seems to become more prone to outrage. Frequently lashing out, kind of like Damon. Oh shit, severely injured a bunch of guards. We can make a wrathful. And Caraxes, the Bloodworm, is finally, um... Healed. Uh, we've got Hugh Hammer here. Could be a potential Dragon Seed that we could marry into our line. So, I think we'll keep an eye on him. But you got to keep an eye on, uh... 
bastards. They are treacherous by nature. Unfortunately, guys, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. Stay tuned for another episode coming out the exact same time tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic resty day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.